Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we are in a uh, dollar store, which I have not done a dollar store walkthrough in a while. So, we're just going to see what they got and uh, if there's anything that has come out since the new year that might help, uh, you know, kind of with what our projects. So, obviously, I guess they are gearing up for St. Patrick's Day, which is not actually one of, you know, the premier days for a dollar store shopping but let's take a look around all right so our dollar stores sell some things for like five dollars and it looks like they've got some board games i looked this game up you know i was trying to see if it had some good components or miniatures in it but it doesn't so we're gonna pass on that but you, know, you might want to keep your eye out of a lot of stores are now dollar stores are carrying slightly better stuff for five dollars all right so this is the main toy aisle and let's see if anything here what i actually came here for was to get some playing cards and this is perfect because i need two separate decks for the game uh the pig wars that i'm gonna try out this also looks interesting so even if you don't plan on rolling these, I think you could use these if you are playing a military game and you want to designate which way a flank or a unit is going to go, whether it's going to go left or right or stay where it's at, which you would use the dot. So I could see using that. You would probably need more than three, but uh, it actually might come in handy. Thinking whether I should get one or two of these. All right, so a lot of them are carrying these kind of faux Legos now, which makes me think maybe Lego has lost their patent. It has expired because these are direct copies. I've actually shown these on the channel. These trucks are fairly okay for Spectre Ops or modern stuff if you, if you paint them up. This is new with these kind of facades. They look like the scale wouldn't be too bad for 28 or 25 millimeters. It's just a paint job. I don't feel like repainting them. Classic army men. They actually have a set of miniature rules for playing games with army men. Which is, I think, called army men. Uh, but I'm not going to get that today. Of course, Hot Wheels. But to be honest with you, lately the dollar store has had a better selection than uh, than Walmart. And them. You go to Walmart, some of their Hot Wheels are cleaned out. So if you're doing Gaslands or any of these games where you use Hot Wheels in that scale, don't forget to try your dollar store. You're going to save some money and get better stuff. So these are kind of interesting. It's called Starlink Battle for Atlas. They look pretty much 25 millimeter. I mean, if you were trying to get into Stargrave, you know, these would be some kind of cool characters, perhaps, uh, for a dollar. I mean, <laughs> looks like they only got one or two of the same figures. Uh, if you are trying to modify a ship in Stargrave, at least look like some kind of weapons or cannons that you could build on. And then, of course, they have these. This is interesting. Again, for Stargrave, make some massive aliens. But I'm not going to be doing any of that. I think you guys know I kind of pulled the plug on my Stargrave, at least for the time being, until it actually comes out. Yeah, and the rest of this is just kind of knickknack stuff. So. You've got the Incredibles up here, which if you're doing some kind of fun superhero game, and the scale doesn't matter. You've got these wrestlers, again, kind of out of scale. And these cartoon characters, DC characters. And these are probably about the same scale as Crisis Protocol. Just not as good, but you could maybe do some games where Marvel versus DC. I don't know what these are. What are these? Stretches? wall walkers so I guess you throw them on your wall 
So Play-Doh always comes in handy, whether you need to make a quick barrier or you just need to have some Play-Doh, maybe to mask off something. A lot of people use it for uh, military modeling. So you got some cheap giant lizards and giant spiders and giant bugs. So again, if you're doing star grades and you're thinking of doing a, a starship troopers scenario, here's your bugs, your runners, and the other ones. Just very minor paint job, and those would actually look pretty nice. Actually, they would look pretty nice. I'm telling you, all you really need is about five of these. Five of these, and you can really have a decent starship troopers game. Just put some miscellaneous stuff around them. This is interesting because you can use these as barricades or fences. Even though they're out of scale for this guy, they would work fairly well for a 25 millimeter base or camp. I just don't think you get enough that you could do it without spending $10 or so. And so these are new. I've not seen these before. Commercial Airlines. Not exactly sure what I could use them for. Mm-hmm.